Hey you there parents and students of year six. Um, we, this is a further video as part of our work in really trying to create as smooth a possible of transition for you into our year seven at Fulford School. Thanks very much for all of the positive feedback that we've been getting from parents and students. It's, it's been really, really nice to see. Um, and thank you for all the work that's coming in around the tasks we've been setting to. It's really given us a really clear picture of just the caliber of student that we've got coming into school next year and how it's only reinforcing how excited we are to start working with you. You'll see that I'm joined again today by Mr. Bonsalls, who hopefully you're well aware now is going to be head of year seven next year. And also this morning we've invited along a very special guest to join us, Mr. Lewis as head teacher of the school. Morning year six and, and all parents of year six, it's lovely to be back talking to you again and um, being really pleased to hear about the videos, the activities that you've been doing and getting yourself all ready to come um, to Fulford next year. Um, as I think about Fulford, what, what's central to me is, is our core values and that's something you're going to be really, really clear on as you work your way up the school. There are hardcore values. So I just want to spend a little bit of time just explaining to you why they're so important to me as a head teacher and will become so important to you as you become part of our family. Honesty. We all understand the importance of honest, of doing the right thing, of making sure that everything that we do um, shows well in ourselves. And that's something that we're going to be really encouraging you to do as you um, spend your time in Fulford. Empathy. That's about understanding how other people feel and making sure that we are doing types of things which allow other people to feel good about themselves and understanding that sometimes our actions might affect people in a bad way that we don't want to be doing those. Ambition. Goodness me, are we ambitious for you? You're coming to a fantastic school and we want you to be the best you possibly can be. So we've got loads of ambition to share with you and we're looking forward to hearing what it is that you want to do and making sure that we bring that about. Respect. We understand that people come from different traditions and have different ideas. It's re what's really important is that we respect those traditions, that we make sure that we understand that not everybody's going to be doing the same thing and not everybody's going to be believing in the same thing, but we need to respect where people are coming from and make sure they're making them feel comfortable in our community. And tolerance, that's something I think we've all, uh, all learnt about over these past few months, that sometimes things don't go the way we want them to go, but we need to make sure that we are hanging on in there and keeping our resilience up and making sure that, that even if there's something we disagree with, we find a way of working our way through that. They're the basic building blocks of what it means to be a Fulford student all wrapped up in our hardcore values and, 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 and worked in a daily basis through our Fulford way. I am here again to tell you how much we are looking forward to having you here. It's really frustrating that we can't get you into school at the moment, but I very much hope that these videos um, help you feel connected. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about uniform and you're really lucky because you're going to be the first year group to get into a brand new uniform and the importance of homework. So I'm going to pass you back on to Mr. Bonsalls and Mr. Walker and I hope you have a great day and you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Thanks very much for that, Mr. Lewis. Now, one of the biggest questions that we've had in recent weeks has been with regard to uniform and people wanting to know where they can purchase it from and what they need to be purchasing, etc. Now, as you're aware, we've introduced a new uniform this year and hence the reason there's been a slight delay in just getting everything finalised with suppliers, etc. Um, before we've been able to share this information with you. We are now very much in a position to be able to share that and hope that you are really excited about being the first year group that are going to wear the new Fulford School uniform. So this is all coming out to you in a letter as well, but I thought it would be nice for you to be able to hear it from myself and Mr. Bonsalls as we talk through things here too. Now you'll notice of the bullet points that are on the screen, some of that information is in bold type, so the four bullets at the top are in bold and the four um, bullets at the bottom are not in bold. The only issue there, the thing you need to be aware of there is that the uh, bullets that are in bold, those items are available to purchase through our um, stockists, so they are official sort of Fulford School items, whereas the issues, uh, the items at the bottom, they are available to purchase wherever you, wherever you would like in terms of any other retailer. So that's the only reason that those, those differences there exist. So you can see that there's a blazer 
a tie. Now, your colour for Year 7 coming in next year is going to be gold. So the first year group that um, are going to be wearing the, the, the Fulford School tie is going to be Year 7 and it's going to be gold. What that um, allows us to do is identify all the students who are in Year 7 and that gold tie you will wear throughout your time with us. So it's not like you need to change the colour of your tie year on year. When you are a Year 8 student, Year 8 ties will be gold. If that, if hopefully that makes sense. There's a pleated Fulford School skirt and then there is an optional item of a Fulford School jumper if you would like to purchase that. Alongside all of this information that will be on our website, we'll be able to signpost you to a quite a detailed document about any specific requirements we have of, of how uniform is particularly worn. But in terms of the things that you need to worry about purchasing and getting organised, uh, this is the information that you need here. You'll see that alongside of those items, there is a, a short or a long sleeve shirt with a collar, obviously for the, for the tie. Um, formal black trousers, please. So we don't want any skinny fit trousers or, or jeans. They do need to be uh, formal school trousers in black, please. Tights and then black shoes. And you can see there, not pumps or boots or trainers or canvas shoes or high heels, uh, a, a black school shoe, please. Um, what I've done, and you're the first people to see this, <clears throat> in terms of getting a bit of a, a sneak preview of, of the new uniform, uh, there's some pictures on the screen that you'll be able to see. Now clearly those are the, a mannequin with the skirt on, and that's not uh, the uh, mannequin wearing the trousers. Uh, you, as a female student, you're welcome to wear black trousers if you, if you would prefer to do that. Um, but this is showing the Fulford School skirt. You can see that there's a picture with the optional jumper, or there's a picture without the, with, the, with the jumper and then you can see there's two pictures of the skirt just showing you the, the design and the style of the skirt there. Um, the two suppliers that you need to be aware of, Emblazon, when their website is shown there, and also School Shop and their website is shown there. So Emblazon are based in the middle of um, the city centre on Micklegate and School Shop out at Elvington. And both of those suppliers are stocking the, the uniform so you'll be able to uh, access uniform from either of those places. At the moment, Emblazon are the only stockists of our PE kit, so you just need to be aware of that element of things. And that leads us into the PE kit that you would require. Now you can see that on the screen, and again, this will all come out to you in a, in a, letter, in a letter, so you've got all of that information, but you can see on the screen there, uh, the slight differences with the girls' PE kit and the boys' PE kit. Um, the items in bold, again, are available from uh, um, those stockists, so Emblazon in particular on the PE kit. Uh, the other items which are not involved on here, you're welcome to purchase them wherever, wherever that is going to work best for you. All of that information is coming out to you in a letter. There will be further information on the website as well. If you've got any questions around that, then please let, please let us know. But hopefully by the time you've received the letter and you've seen this video, you'll have all the information that you need with regards to uniform for September. Now, one of the more frequently asked questions we've had over the last few weeks is regarding homework. Um, and having read some of the tasks that were submitted last week, there was a lot of worry about how much homework was set and how long to spend on it. Um, so we just wanted to spend a little bit of time speaking about homework um, and the expectations we have here at Fulford. Um, we do believe homework is important um, and teachers will set it. And we expect students to spend 30 minutes on a piece of homework. Now for the core subjects, which is maths, English and science, students will be set one piece a week. Uh, for the other non-core subjects, so your geography, history, art, um, students will be said it once a fortnight. Um, so what that entails will obviously depend on which subject it is, but we do place um, the importance of students recording their homework in their planner, which they will get on their first day. Um, this is just so they can organise their work uh, and make sure that they, they meet deadlines. Now, linked to this is um, an also an electronic system we use across school called class charts and I believe Mr Walker you're going to sort of explain a bit more about class charts aren't you? Yeah I was just going to show a little bit about how that how that works for parents and, and for students so I'd agree with what Mr Bonsall has just said there um, it's one of the things that students do worry about it's, it's different for students coming to, to uh, year seven where they've got to organise their time and record homework tasks and one of the reasons that we um, introduced class charts was to try and enable parents to be able to support students as much as they possibly can with, with their homework and, and their ongoing learning so I'm just going to show you this on the screen so like, like we said, one of the things that students can sometimes struggle with is, is their own organisation. And we recognise that at times coming to secondary school from primary school means that 
there's an awful lot more independence that students have to get used to and that can bring it its challenges uh, for individual students what we introduced last year and these slides here are actually from a presentation that i did to parents last year um was a system called class charts and this is something which uh, we'll continue to run through and you will hopefully become incredibly familiar with Class Charts basically is an electronic platform for us to be able to share information with parents about behaviour, positives and negatives, homework around their timetable and essentially be able to provide updates to parents that they can, that they can get which they might find hard to get that information from their son, and, their son or daughter. So you can see there it's either an app that's on your phone or it comes onto the, onto the computer you will get a login for that we'll give you all of the details and the training for that in September but it's helpful for you at the minute to be able to see it so you understand what um, the platform by which students will be seeing their homework because it is in a platform for us to set electronic homework as well so I'm just going to scroll through a couple of these because then I'm going to come back to those in a second one of the things you would see as a parent is this activity feed now Andrew Abbott isn't a student at Fulford this is a, this a test dummy account um, but you can see that on your app you would be able to see any positives or negatives that your son or daughter had received during that day. What you can also see is a, an analysis essentially of, of, of how things are getting on and you would be able to see down here, although I've just cut it off here, you'd be able to see the list of classes. So you can see how they're doing in individual classes in terms of the number of positives, the number of negatives that they've potentially received um, and you will also be able to see on their, their homework. Um, homework is displayed on, on they can get it on their phone or they can log on to the computer to, to do it and it's displayed in like a to-do list type fashion so you can see there that there's a, an, an item to, which is to be done to be completed but then you can also see that this student here has ticked off the item below as being completed now as a parent you can see that information as well so if you are asking your son or daughter have you got any homework to do tonight and they either say they're not sure or they don't know, um, you, can, you can get in access to that information. You can see that. The other thing which is really helpful for parents is you see their timetable. So you have a copy on your phone of your son or daughter's timetable, which I know that if you're the night before trying to prep for the day ahead, any ingredients or PE kit or anything like that, that information is there for you. The last point that I want to make on it um, is that we this is how we recognize student behavior so you'll have seen mr lewis obviously spoke earlier on about honesty empathy ambition respect tolerance those are all things that students can get credit for and positive uh, recognition alongside things like good work teamwork etc um, unfortunately there are odd occasions where students get things um, a little bit wrong and they don't quite meet our expectations and you would be made aware of that through a, a negative being issued on class charts as well we work uh, in school, staff work, um, we've asked staff to make sure that they're always giving out a 90% ratio. So for every 10 comments they put onto class chats, we would be looking for nine of those to be positive and only one to be negative. We love rewarding students. It's a big part of what we do. Um, if your son or daughter, when you looked at their um, breakdown, if they are up over 90%, their ratio, because you see a ratio on there, that would be very much where we would want them to be, if not even higher than that. If it started to fall below that, that's just useful for you to have that comparison um, of where we, would, where we would be wanting them to be. You can see there that it generates lots and lots of information for you as a parent, but also for us as a student, which brings us nicely into uh, the next section that we're gonna talk about. So linked to all of the information that we're able to gather from class charts, but also from your class teachers and the information that they put on reports and assessments and all of the different things that we gather about you as students, that gives us the opportunity to really put any necessary interventions in place to make sure that you're absolutely making the best possible progress here with us at Fulford School. Now linked to that, um, we've asked two members of staff to join us this morning, Miss Butterfield, who you'll recognise from the welcome video, but also Miss Southall, who you haven't met as of yet and her role is linked directly to progress of students in year seven so i'm gonna miss southall if you don't mind just introducing yourself and saying a little bit about your role that would be really helpful thank you yeah so hi new year seven students i am miss southall i am the progress leader for year seven 
and I am also the uh, French and Spanish teacher in the Modern Foreign Languages Department. So as part of my role as the progress leader, I will be helping you and it's my role to, to guide you through your academics in your first year at Fulford and to help and support you to make sure that you reach your full potential while you're here with us. Um, so within that, I'll be looking at the data that from your subjects, um, identifying students that maybe require a little bit of extra support. I'll then put that into place with the interventions that Mr Walker has mentioned. It might be from literacy and numeracy, for example. And I'll also be working alongside your tutors to deliver sessions about study skills, for example, resilience. And I'll be working um, closely alongside groups and individuals of students. And I'm really looking forward to working with you in the new year. Thank you, Miss. So hopefully what you'll be able to see from the four members of staff that are on the screen here is just the, the tip of the iceberg in terms of the support that's available to students as they join us in, at Fulford School. Mr Bonsells, we've talked a lot about pastoral work, haven't we? And I know Miss Bons uh, Butterfield's here um, as a big, big part of that. Um, Miss Butterfield, you've got lots of experience with working with students lower down school. Yes, I do. Um, hi, everybody. Um, you may see me from the welcome video. So I'm Miss Butterfield. I work in the pastoral team. So I've been working really closely with Mr. Bonsells. Um, so if you have any concerns or questions, I'll be one of the people that you can come and speak to, whether it's about friendships or settling into school or even just something that seems really tiny. If it's enough to be bothering you, it's enough for us to talk about. So you'll find me in the pastoral team. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you all next year. See ya. I think it's important for students to, to recognise that if you are struggling, um, you should you know speak about it quickly. Your form tutor is probably your main uh, port of call, but there are so many people in Fulford that can help you, um, and we want to make sure that you feel as welcome as possible. And, and don't hide if you have, have any issues, just come straight to a member of staff and they'll be more than happy to help you. So you've had loads of information on today's video. Um, as ever, if there's any questions, anything that you are not sure on or anything that you think that we could cover in a bit more detail, then please just let us know that the year six uh, transition email address is there. Please continue to use it, ask questions, but hopefully you feel really reassured by what you've heard today. You've had lots of information about uniform, information about class charts and homework, and hopefully all of that is just adding to the level of excitement that we are experiencing about joining us in September. Any issues, let us know, but for now we'll say bye-bye. Thank you, cheers. Bye.